Hi, and welcome to your 19th iOS programming tutorial. And today, I'm going to be showing you how to create a multiple button UI alert view. If you don't understand what that means, don't worry. Essentially, it's an alert or pop-up, as we covered in tutorial 7, but we're going to give it more than one button. So rather than the one cancel or OK or dismiss button, we'll, mark, we'll create an alert view and there'll be a number of buttons and when button 1 is clicked we can perform an action, when button 2 is clicked we can perform a different action and then when the cancel button is pressed we'll just dismiss the UI alert view. It's actually fairly simple as it's just like creating an alert view but where you set the other button title properties you just enter some other text for your other buttons separated by commas and then you just call on void v alert view did click button at index when the button is when a button is clicked and then you just check which button was clicked that sounds a bit complex but it's really not so let's get started open up xcode and create a new project we did cover UI alert views as I mentioned in tutorial 7 but it's not a prerequisite to have already seen that tutorial I will briefly set up a UI alert view so that if you haven't seen that tutorial or if you're interested uh, you can follow along to that I will just call that alert view multi button and again organization company bundle class prefix and devices are all up to you you don't have to do the same options as me for all of those uh, even the product name you can customize so find where you want to save your project and then click create now let's go into our main dot storyboard and just add a button and this will be the button that when the button is clicked the alert view will appear so I'll just call the button show alert view now go into your assistant editor by clicking on the tuxedo icon I'm going a bit more quickly here just so we can get set up the UI alert view and then we can actually go ahead and do the multiple buttons it'll only take a couple of minutes to set up the UI alert view so make sure automatic is selected and view controller dot h and then right click on show alert view button and then drag it in between at interface and at end make sure the connection is an action and we'll just call this show alert again type id event touch up inside and argument sender and then click connect now we do need to do something a bit different here so let's go back into our single view editor and then back into our view controller dot h at the end of this add interface line open a triangular or carrot or whatever you want to call this type of bracket less than symbol and type ui alert view delegate and then add a closing carrot or triangular bracket all this is doing is allowing us to detect which button of the alert view was clicked and i'll explain more about that at the end of this tutorial for those of you who are interested now let's go back into view controller.m and we can add the code to show our alert I'll go through this really quickly just so we can get it started setting up the alert. So type UI alert view alert equals UI alert view alloc and then close that set of uh, square brackets and then type in it with title, give it a title, I'll just say hi, give it a message, so I'll just say um, hello, and then for delegate type nil, cancel button title cancel. Other button titles are nil for now. I'm going to explain all of that in a moment. Then you just have square bracket alert show. Now let's run our application really quickly now and just make sure that the application is working. Okay, so it's running. We haven't got any errors. And if I click show alert view, the alert appears. Hi, hello, and I'll cancel button. Now let's add the multiple buttons. To do this where it says other button titles and we just have nil, comma, nil at the moment, Replace the first nil, or if you don't see that and you just have nil, then type at talking mark, talking mark, comma, nil. And so inside that at talking mark, talking mark, we can uh, give the text for our uh, second button. So I'll just do second button, assuming that the cancel button's our first button. Then I'm going to also do a third button by doing another comma and then at talking mark, talking mark. Let me break this up a bit so it's a bit easier to read just by adding enters before each of the different properties. So as you can see, we've got our title, our message, our cancel button title, and our other button titles. Now we need to set the delegate to self, and I'll explain that again in a moment. I'm just going to type up all the code now and then explain it all. Now underneath this IB action, add a few enters and then type dash void and make sure this is not inside the IB action, it's outside of the IB action. Type alert view, clicked button at index. And then, inside here, we can add our code to check which button was clicked. So type if 
button index equals equals zero and then inside statements just do a comment that says cancel else if button index equals equals one and then that would be second button else and then in here we can do third button so I'm just going to do um, an NS log and I'll explain that in a moment what that does don't worry about it for now so inside I'll just type NS log then the brackets and then cancel then inside second button I'll do again NS log but this time I'll type second button for the text of the log and for the third one I'll do again NS log third button now let's run the application, see what it does, and then again I'll explain it all because it has got a bit more complex. So let's stop the running build, and it succeeded, which is a good sign. Uh, if you do have any errors, just make sure that you have put that method, this void alert, if you clicked button, at index outside of that IB action. Now let's watch the log console down here in the bottom right corner of Xcode. So, when I click show alert view, you can see my alert appears with the three different buttons. Second button, third button, and then cancel button. We can't make the cancel button the first button in terms of the order of the buttons. And we can rearrange second and third button though, just by uh, changing the order over here in our other button titles. So I'm going to click on the cancel button now. And as you can see, it's logged in Xcode, cancel. Let's show alert view again and then try doing second button. As you can see, it shows second button. And I'll try third button, and that works again, and I can go back to second, and so on. So let's go through what this code is actually doing. So we've got an IV action here set up so that when that button is clicked, so this blue button, when that's clicked, all of the code here is going to run. So the first thing we're doing is creating our alert view. We're giving it a title, which as you can see is hi, a message, which is hello, and then we're setting the delegate to self, because if you remember in viewcontroller.h, our UI view controller, which is self, or view controller, so that's self. So when you see the text self, you're really just saying view controller or, or th this particular view. And we've set this particular view to also encompass within it a UI alert view and have all the things that you can do with a UI alert view. So then we're making sure that we set the delegate to self. This will not work if you don't set the delegate to self, and that's a common mistake that people make. So make sure delegate is set to self. Then we're setting the cancel button title, which of course is the cancel button title here. And then also our other button titles, which are any other buttons that we might want to use within our UI alert view. In this particular order, being this button being the top button of the UI alert view, this button being the bottom. And I could add more buttons by just doing at talking mark, talking mark, and then uh, comma, nil. And as you can see, that's obviously what's happened here. We've got our second button at the top, third button, and then our cancel button, which again has to be at the bottom of the UI alert view. Then we've got this void alert view, UI alert view, alert view, clicked button at index, NS integer button index. So what's that doing? Well, when the user clicks any button on the UI alert view, because the delegate has been set to our UI alert view delegate, uh, the, the, ev all this code inside here is run automatically. So we don't have to hook up any actions or anything, just when a button is clicked on any alert view throughout this particular view controller, all this code will run. Now the button index is which button was pressed. So button number 0, or button index 0, is our cancel button. And then from there, this first button here is going to be button index 1, the second button will be button index 2, and if I added another button, so comma, at talking mark, talking mark, comma, this button here would be the index 3. So then all we're doing is we're going, if the button index equals 0, meaning the 0th button was pushed, or the cancel button, then let's just log, which is, all, all log does is it just uh, adds this text here, and as you can see, it's logged cancel. If you don't know about NSLog, don't worry. Essentially what you want to put here is, and I'll comment, I'll delete this line, and just type here, this is the code which will be run when cancel is clicked. And I'll just copy that and paste that for this second button. And this is the code that will be pressed when the second button is clicked. And then obviously that's the same down here. And when the third button is pressed. So what we're saying is, so if it equals zero, meaning the cancel button, then run all of this code inside these two curly brackets here. 
If it doesn't, so else if, if it does not equal 0, but it equals 1, which is our first other button, which is second button, then run all of this code. If none of those are true, so if it's not this one or it's not this one, then run all of this code. Here we could also type else if button index equals equals 2. That would also work, because this is our second other button. And then if I added a third button, I could do else or else if, and then button index equals equals 3, and that would be our third other button, if I added, say, our uh, fourth button. And it's that simple. And so I could trigger action, so maybe when I click the, sec uh, the second button, which is button index number 1, I could put some code here to open a URL, and I could do that, uh, I did a tutorial recently, UI application, shared application, and then we could do open URL, and then uh, nsurl, URL with string, and then I'll just open a website, so I could do www.google.com. If I now run it and I click the second button, what's going to happen is uh, Google's going to open up in Safari. Let's see if that's worked. Show a low view, so I'll click on third button. Nothing happens, because we got rid of that log line. If I click on the second button, it's going to go, okay, the alert view, I clicked a button. Which button? Well, it was button index number one, so do all of this code here. So, our uh, second button. And as you can see, Google's open up in Safari. So, for those of you interested, I'll explain what the UI alert view delegate is. If we go back to viewcontroller.h, and if you click on the command key on your keyboard, and then hover over UI alert view delegate, and then click, uh, left click on it, you can see all of this extra code, and this is how Apple pretty much sets up iOS. So you can see a few different things. You can see this alert view click button at index called when a button is clicked. The view will automatically uh, view will be automatically dismissed after this call returns. What that means is the alert view, which is this this view that they're talking about, will be dismissed. So they'll close the alert view when a button is clicked. There's a whole lot of other things you can do. We can simulate clicks. We can um, do things like when the if we wanted to detect when the alert view was dismissed, we could do that with will dismiss or did dismiss with button index, so we can see which one they used to dismiss it, and so on. If you've got any questions about any of this or how you can do other things with alert views, such as embed text fields in alert views, which is possible, feel free to message us or visit our website, 99centsappdevelopment.com, and visit the Get In Touch page, and just send us a message, and we'll get back to you. Be sure to like and subscribe if you've enjoyed this video, and we'll see you next time.